Hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel. Excuse my appearance. I have been sick for probably a week and a half now, so I'm not feeling my finest. I have to go and get some groceries. We are supposed to get be getting a bunch of snow in Ontario, so I needed to grab a few things since I haven't been grocery shopping in a couple weeks. Now, I didn't do a huge grocery haul um, because to be honest, there weren't any carts available, so I had to carry everything. Regardless, this has been requested, so hopefully you guys enjoy seeing what I got to eat for the week. First and foremost, and not exciting, I had to get medicine, so I got some Benelin all-in-one cold and flu, and I got some NyQuil cold and flu as well. Hopefully both of those are helpful with my symptoms. Starting off with drinks, we got some orange juice. I only drink pulp-free orange juice. If I'm at like a hotel or something and they only have pulp, then I'll have it. But otherwise, I only like pulp-free. I find the pulp in it to feel like, I don't know, like phlegm. I can't do it. Like, grocery prices are so expensive in Canada, I think everywhere, like inflation is just making everything so expensive, but that was literally $10, that orange juice. And then I got myself some milk, which was also like, I don't know, six, $7. This is the Silk Original Oat Milk. I am vegan, so I can't have regular milk. And this is my favorite milk alternative. I don't really like almond milk um, and coconut milk is okay, but I think that this is the best oat milk in my opinion, I just think it's really smooth and delicious. Um, Earth's Own also has a good oat milk, but it's a bit like grittier than the Silk one. I think the Silk one is prime. This is still in the drink section. I got these, these are my favorite. These are really expensive, but I think that they're totally worth it. These are the Avive Smoothie Cubes. This is in the Saffir, Sapphire, Saffir flavor. Um, it's got banana, apple, pineapple, cauliflower, coconut cream, grape, blue spirulina, orange, sweet potato, mushroom, like a ton of stuff in there. These are really yummy and you get three packs. I don't love the amount of single use plastic that comes with these. I will say that does really bug me. I wish that they just put like the cubes in a bag instead of having to individually like wrap them in packs. Um, but I do really like these because they contain protein, they're vegan and they're great for like quick on the go before class or before filming or something. And my favorite obsession right now is beans. I am obsessed with maple beans. This is probably my go-to dinner right now is beans and toast. I think that most university students like struggle meal is ramen. Um, mine is beans and toast, so like three, cans of this is six dollars and then i just have it with bread so that's my dinner maple beans are the best you get protein in there too important as a vegan and they're delicious i that's one of my favorite dinners to have um even though it's considered like a struggle meal i think it is fine cuisine <laughs> for my toast this is the italiano original bread um, this doesn't have any egg or milk in it. I'm always second guessing myself. I actually just freeze a loaf of bread because this is so much bread, obviously. Um, so I just freeze it because it'll go bad if I don't throughout the week. I do uh, peanut butter toast with orange juice in the mornings. Um, and one of my other favorite dinners to do is breakfast for dinner. So this week I'll be having beans and toast. I got some stuff for pasta but breakfast for dinner is probably my favorite. This is the uh, President's Choice Original Pancake Mix. It is plant-based. Um, you don't get a lot of pancake mix in here. This usually lasts about two meals, whereas I feel like in the big pancake boxes, you get a lot more, because this is actually not filled with powder. There's like a bag in here that goes to this much with pancake mix so it's not even full and i will pair that with some beyond meat breakfast sausage people love me some beyond meat sausage my favorite is the plant-based no obviously the plant-based one um my favorite is the maple one but they didn't have it um i know that the beyond meat isn't really good for you because there's lots of like chemicals in it and sodium but i never claim to be a dietitian a health queen um 
I just claim to love Beyond Meat regardless of its ingredients. Oh, it's delicious as a vegan, what can I say? And then I got a ton of raspberries. This was also expensive, this was $10 because it's obviously not raspberry season, but I've had a really tough week. So I treated myself with a bunch of raspberries and I'm, I think tonight I'm gonna do raspberry pancakes like with little vegan chocolate chips and sausage. Produce. I bought some Granny Smith apples. These are the reusable like produce bags. You can buy these off of Amazon. Um, usually a refill store will have these if you have one like at your local I don't know, downtown boutique. Um, I always recommend getting these because you can reuse them, wash them, and you don't have to use those single use plastic bags at the grocery store. A lot of people get reusable bags for their you know, all their groceries, I use reusable bags, but they forget about the produce ones. So if you can, invest in these. They're really good, I love them. Um, so I got some apples to have with peanut butter for a snack or breakfast, um, the Granny Smith. Then also in terms of produce, I'm, I'm counting it even though it's canned. I got some peaches in juice. No name brand has frozen all their prices. So if you're looking for an affordable option um, in Canada, check out the no name because they aren't going up in price. I will have these as a snack or on top of pancakes. So yeah, for produce, I got some cherry tomatoes because left over from my last grocery shop, I have Alfredo. So this is the Osole, osol mio, osole mio, plant-based Alfredo vegan sauce. It is delicious. <laughs> oh God. And so I have my um, Alfredo pasta, whatever, ling linguine, is that what it is? I'm not sure. Fettuccine, that's what I have. I have my fettuccine pasta left over because um, I didn't use it all in the box. So I'm gonna make some fettuccine Alfredo and I like cutting up some cherry tomatoes and putting that on top. Um, cherry tomatoes were definitely not economical as a purchase, but all the other tomatoes were yucky. So I had to spend some moolah on the cherry tomatoes. Then lastly, I got some premium plus salted top crackers. These are nostalgia for me because I used to always have these growing up. I would have them with butter or my mom, if we like ran out of bread, she would do peanut butter and jam crackers and like a bunch of them to make like a, a sandwich. Delicious, I love these. Um, I'm gonna have those with some soup. I'll show you the soup I have um, in a minute, but I'll have those with soup. I'll have them with butter, peanut butter and jam, great snack. And then to finish off strong, cereal was on sale. So I got this family size box of sugar crisp for $3, which is so good. That is a steal, a steal. Um, and these are vegan as well. They do contain honey, but honey is the one thing that I'm like kind of iffy about as a vegan. I do have it in certain things. Um, and it's in items that you wouldn't really expect. Like for example, Starbucks chai has honey in it. Did you know that? I didn't know that. So yeah, honey is the one thing I kind of have here and there, but not too often. I haven't had sugar crisp in forever though, so I'm so excited to have it. Another nostalgia purchase. I used to always have like sugar crisp and watch Phineas and Ferb in the mornings growing up. I'm excited to relive that. Now I wanted to show you the soup that I've been having. I've been so sick. And luckily on my last grocery shop, I stocked up on soup, so. Thank you, Previous Ocean. Um, this is the plant-based Pacific Foods Creamy Organic Tomato Basil Soup. It is vegan and gluten-free. It is also like $11 for a container. It is so expensive, but there aren't many vegan soup options. There's only like minestrone, but usually the noodles contain egg and the tomato ones always have milk or cream in them, the tomato soups. So I always have to buy like some expensive vegan soup. And you know what guys, I did try to make a vegan soup, like cook it myself. I got all the ingredients, which 
to be honest, was just as expensive as buying this because I had to buy all the tomatoes and the um, seasonings and all of that type of stuff. And then you blend it all together and my blender isn't powerful enough to make it into a soup. So it was just this chunky, like paste. It was, it was very gross. It was not very good at all. So it wasn't in my grocery haul, but I wanted to share this with you guys because my dad got it for me. So he got me the hip oat milk um, advent calendar. This is plant-based, vegan friendly, plastic free, and creamy oat milk. How exciting is that? So there is plain salted caramel, gingerbread, and white. Um, I am so excited to have this. As a vegan, there's not many advent calendars out there for us. Um, and there's definitely none at the store. Like my dad had to buy this one and he had to pay, I think $40 in customs. So he's not getting this particular advent calendar again, but I'm really excited to try it. So thank you father for splurging on me. Um, I'm 21, but I still do have my calendars, obviously. They are the best. Thing that I got this time around, compared to my last grocery shop, this is mild. Normally I will like average spend around like $200 on my groceries. This came to $77 for perspective, which I don't actually think is that bad to be honest. So there must've been some other deals going on because like individually these things were expensive even the avad cubes were like ten dollars alone so i must have gotten some good deals somewhere um but normally i spend around 200 because i grocery shop for like two to three weeks um so i wanted to wait and do a grocery haul for one of those really big shopping excursions um but i've just been so sick and i like there were no carts so i couldn't stockpile this time and I just, I don't know, I didn't have it in me to do a big grocery shop. But if you liked this one, next time I do a really big grocery haul for like three weeks, I can um, film that one for you guys. Just let me know. I don't buy a lot of actual produce, as you'll see, which isn't great for my health, but that's why I can grocery shop for like three weeks at a time because I'll just get a bunch of like pasta and oat milk and frozen items and canned fruits and veggies, so yeah i hope you enjoyed i love you all so much i've been so sick so if you've also been really sick i hope that we both start feeling better soon we need it and i will see you all in my next video leave any video requests in the comments down below love you all